Hey, I'm Curtis Stone. Now, I love a baked potato as good as anybody, but I don't love what it does to me. When you usually load them up with sour cream and bacon bits and loads of cheese, they become really bad for you. Now, what I'm going to show you how to do is make them taste just as good as those old ones that we all know, but they're really good for you. So, this is the way you bake them. Grab your potato, and over here I've got a tray just with some kosher salt on. Grab your potato, and just with a roasting fork, just spike it. Just sprinkle your potatoes with a little bit of the salt and then pop them into the oven about 40, 45 minutes depending on how big they are at 400 degrees, so nice and hot. So while that happens, what we're going to do is make our ratatouille and there's no rats involved, I promise. Over here I've got a pan and I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil and just move that around your pan so you just get a nice coating of your olive oil. And then into there, we're going to start off with some shallots, which are finely diced. So take your garlic, that's like two cloves, which is, again, finely chopped. Move them around. You can just stir them with a wooden spoon or give it a shake. So once you see that your shallot is sort of just going slightly translucent, the next vegetable that we're going to put in, well, it's a fruit actually, is red bell peppers and some yellow bell peppers. So we put those in together and give it another stir. Keep it down nice and low. You don't want to cook this one too high. And the next thing that we're going to do is come over here and I'm going to show you how to cut the eggplant. So what I like to do is just cut the top and bottom off as usual. Stand it up and then I'm just going to cut all of the sides off. So I'm going to cut them about the same size as the peppers, maybe slightly larger. So what we're going to do with this eggplant is scoop it up and just pop it into a bowl and then just sprinkle it with salt. Be really generous remembering that you're going to wash this off. Okay, so if you have a look in here now, it's totally dry. Watch it in five minutes time. All right, so while we're waiting for that, we can get our herbs ready. I kind of like to just put some really nice fresh basil, which is always um, great accompaniment to anything. I'm going to just finely chop my chives. Right, so once the eggplant's had sort of four or five minutes, have a look at what happens. See that little pool of water? That's all come from the natural juice of the eggplants. Okay, next what you have to do is wash this off thoroughly. So come over to the sink. So give them a good rinse. Over here, I've got a little strainer. So I'm just going to strain that salty water off. Give that a little shake, and then in it goes. Okay, so once your eggplant's been in for a minute and you can see it's just starting to soften up, time for our next vegetable. And the next one is zucchini. So I've chopped up my zucchini and that is really quick to cook. So you know when your zucchini goes in, it's a good time to get your potatoes out of the oven. Make sure they're cooked though. So once your potatoes have been baking for the 45 minutes or so, you can give them a squeeze. They should be kind of soft on both sides. And just brush off that salt there. Just let them cool down a little bit until they're cool enough to handle. Now, don't forget, we put the salt onto the eggplant, so it's going to retain some of that saltiness. So don't over-season your ratatouille. Next, you take a little bit of red wine, deglaze the pan. And see that? What happens is all that beautiful flavour that was stuck on the bottom of that pan just lifts straight up with that red wine. Next, we take our tomatoes. Now, I've used three, so throw those in too. And then this is where it gets that beautiful saucy consistency from. Lovely. Get plenty of freshly cracked black pepper. And now the basil. So a couple of good big pinches of that. Give that a toss. So what we're going to do next is take our potatoes, which have cooled down. And what you're going to do is just take a sharp little knife and cut a big cross right in your potato, like so. And then from the two bottoms, use your finger and thumb and just sort of press it out and press in the bottom there so it opens right out. Look at all that steam. Delicious. Next, I'm going to just take a little spoon and just sort of scoop out just a little bit of that potato. All right, so let's have a look at the ratatouille. See how it's gone from being a bunch of different vegetables in a pot to a ratatouille. That's how it should look. Perfect. So you turn it off and just spoon this straight into the middle of your potatoes. The next thing that you do is you grab some parmesan cheese. Beautiful. Make sure that's going to hold together. And then you pop it under the broiler just for a minute. 
ho, ho, ho. Okay, so what you want to do next is grab yourself your little serving plate and then what I like to do in place of the sour cream, which of course is full of fat, get yourself some natural yogurt and just take a nice big spoon of that, place it on top. And just sprinkle those all over. And look at that, it's one of the most delicious baked potatoes that you're ever gonna serve and it's really, really good for you. Mmm, yum.